For this problem, we're talking about, uh, it's a word problem with investments in money. So we want to invest $1,000 into a fund that pays 12% interest, which is high, uh, every year. It's an annual percent interest. So the question is, how many years would it take for this investment to grow until we have a certain amount of money, say $10,000? So we need to write a formula that expresses that and then solve for the length of time. So the formula that expresses that is given by this. We start with this value, $1,000. So this is our starting point, we call it. We multiply that by the percentage increase plus 100%, and we convert that into decimal. So 100% plus 12% is written like that, 1.12. So this is raised to the power of t, our variable, time. And this is in units of years because 12 is a percentage increase annually. And this is equal to whatever amount we want to see how long it takes for t uh, in time to get to some amount. So we'll say $10,000. So $10,000. So what we're going to do is just solve for this using algebra, whatever tricks we can use for that. So let's go ahead and try and do that, solve for time. We begin by dividing both sides by 1,000 to simplify this left-hand side, because again, we're aiming for t. So that gives us 1.12 to the power of t equals 10,000 divided by 1,000 is just 10. So it's already simplified a little bit. but now we need to stop and think how we're going to get this t down. We're going to use our logarithm trick. If we take the logarithm of both sides, then we can take the t and put it out in front. It's a nice little trick with logarithms. So we'll do that now. t times the logarithm of 1.12 equals the logarithm of 10. So I'm using base 10 logarithms. Logarithm of base 10 is just 1. So this is the logarithm of both sides. Logarithm of 10 is 1. So now we have this t here. We want to solve for that. So we just simply divide by what we have left here. So that gives us t is equal to 1 divided by log 1.12. This is exactly correct, but it's not very interesting. We wanted to know how long in time it takes. So this is right, but why don't we work this out with the calculator, 1 divided by log of 1.12 see what we get, and then we can say how long that is in, in actual time in years. So if we do that, what we find is time is approximately equal to 20.3 years. So we can say time is 20.3 years. We could also say 20 years and 3 tenths of a year. 3 tenths of a year is about 4 months. So we could say 20.3 years or 20 years and 4 months.